So art openings are one of the most stressful things I ever go to. And sometimes I'm like, why do I even force myself to go, right? Sometimes it's like artists, if you're not like literally thanking them for existing, they are pissed off. Honestly, not everything I make is great. I didn't, I don't think this particular video is that good. I think number two sucked. I'm sorry, but it's true. Coloring cream. With cream. But then like, what do I wear? You know, should I just be naked? Anyone who tries to tell you that how you dress doesn't matter is either lying or a fool. I feel alienated and I feel like maybe I should dress to convey that. And I think how we present ourselves in an art opening is extremely important because it's both a social and a professional opportunity to express yourself, so. We judge people based on how they look all the time. And quite frankly, it's not gonna stop anytime soon. And honestly, I don't think it matters. Like, yes, you should judge a book by its cover because it's trying to tell you something. Like, hello? I try to wear things that are comfortable so that I'm not like feeling like my clothes, like sort of obsessing about mm -hmm. things being too tight or fussy. I can't stand fussy clothes. Something that sort of will make it me comfortable enough to be able to talk to people because I also have social anxiety, so I'm not, I don't even want to go, you know, mm -hmm. so that I don't hate being in my body. And then something that I feel a little, like is, I'm sort of proud of mm -hmm. putting on, that I feel like represents me as, as an interesting person. I wear a lot of color. I feel like for an art opening though, it's, it's good to just kind of look put together, but not try too hard. Um, I feel like, a lot of people that go to art events try way too hard to be like hip. You should maybe go for jeans and a just plain top that looks good. And you you're not should going wear to something that makes you look absolutely you ridiculous uh, so that everybody looks website. at you. I kind of wear the same thing every day. The professional aspect of it maybe doesn't matter so much in some contexts anymore. Um, like you can dress like as wackily as you want to. Yeah, I don't know. I like to wear all black all to black. art things usually. Yeah, always. But like I would also want to wear yeah, glitter sometimes. Mm, I feel like art opening is one of those things you need to wear all black and then one interesting thing. You can't wear like all the clothes you like because you have to be classy. But if you're totally classy, you'll be boring because you're supposed to look like an artist. So it's about that one piece. And everyone wears black to an art opening and it sucks. Like, can we get some color up in here? Maybe don't wear all black because, hey, it's not a funeral. They're still here. They're still alive. And in fact, they're doing really well. They got a fucking opening. You can get clothes that are just as ugly in happy colors. Oh, yeah, okay, so like, all the artists and would-be artists and wannabe artists, what really catches their eye very frequently, um, it's like, uh, it's these jewels. It's the little jewels. You want to bedazzle, um, but only in the parts of your eye. I would say your whole body. Just no clothes. Oh, so I should just be naked? V yeah. Vajazzling. 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 And phallic jazzling. The way I think about it is like if you, if someone doesn't hire you or doesn't buy your art because of like what you're wearing, then you probably don't want to be like associated with those people anyway. So I have to go to an art opening and I suppose I should be excited, but I'm too busy being terrified. Because really, what do you do at an art opening? It's not look at art. It's called networking, which is the worst thing I've ever done. If anything besides wheat, dairy, and poop has made me want to throw up the most, it's networking. Part of my reaction to the networking problem is to focus on what I'm wearing. Because there's definitely an impulse that it's like a glamorous art world occasion, so you should dress up and look fine. There's also like this sort of social aspect of like, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends, so just like chill out, wear what's comfortable. It's also a like professional networking experience, so you want to look professional, right? Like, I want to look 
like I can make an art product and deliver it to you on time. All of the artist's friends are going to go to this art opening to support their friend. So there's a lot of like not artists there who are just there to hang out. Not helpful to me. I'm like, who, how do you figure out who those people are? And I'm frequently disappointed. I'm disappointed by the lack of art discourse at art openings. And I, I know that like somehow it's supposed to be a celebration that you made art. Not everyone deserves that. I don't deserve that. It's a nightmare. I hate openings. I hate them. I mean, on so, on so many levels, I just hate them. I go to them all the time. And then, so I'm always reminded how much I hate them. I hate art openings. I hate being social and there is something that I feel like I know I have to do. But I, it's hard to do it because it's hard to be social. And it's hard to be at events when people are like drinking beer and wine and you don't drink beer and wine and you just want a fucking Coca-Cola, but there are no Coca-Colas and there's not even like a water for you to have. Then you're just like parched and you're angry that like everyone's drinking beer and wine that tastes like not something you want to drink. And then like maybe you get some like cheese and grapes, but it's always really hard to talk to people and I don't like it. I don't like it. I'd rather not go to them. Someone was like, you know, I just think that the opening is a very big part of looking at the work. And that struck me as like the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I've never seen artwork at an opening. And it's rare that I go to an opening and will then like the artwork just because I'm in a bad mood because I'm at the opening. I'm eating too much cheese. And we talked about what happens with that. What happens is that I'm in such a bad mood at this opening where I'm so anxious and I'm so just like trying to figure out why I came there that I then resent whatever is being presented. You know, no one really talks about the work at an opening. It's not, it's not a critical setting. It's like a celebration, like you did it. Every time someone puts something up on the wall, we have to stand in a semicircle and eat cheese together. I don't understand, like, that's, you know, like, construction workers don't have, like, a group of people come up to them and stand in a circle after every garage they've built and just, you know, congrats. It, it's just, it's very, it's, it's so strange. It's really weird. I find it helpful if you have like a performance before and then you get really messy mm -hmm. and then no one wants to talk to you. Yeah. So that's always a good fallback plan to just like look really out of it afterwards and just like pull the shovels and people will be like, oh, maybe they've had enough for tonight. And then people will, you know, just treat you like an art object. I agree. Oh my God, guys, thanks for all your advice. Unfortunately, I literally just pooped my pants. So I'm gonna have to go clean myself I don't think I'm gonna make it to the opening, so. Um, but really, yesterday I soiled myself at work and I didn't have a clean pair of underwear and I was worried that it would happen again because I was having explosive diarrhea. So we'll talk about that next on Coloring Corrine.